Wars. This is his first league game since he broke six ribs in a car crash in January. And to add to that, in a reserve game last Tuesday, he suffered a badly cut lip that required six stitches on the outside and another six inside. Still, he's making his 200th league appearance in spite of all that in this West Ham side. And as Alvin comes back, so Frank Lampard is missing. He's serving a one-match suspension, and Steve Walford now takes the number three shirt. And with West Ham lying fifth in the table, it's certainly an important game against this QPR side, who are in sixth place. The Rangers manager, Terry Venables, has kept the team that scored an emphatic 4-0 victory last week against Southampton. John Gregory is still missing from the midfield because of suspension. Jeremy Charles is just about fit again. And Ian Stewart, also missing, should be ready for Northern Ireland against England on Wednesday. Gary Micklewhite and Wayne Faraday keep their places. The referee is Mike Dimbleby from Stevenage. Queen's Park Rangers in the blue and white hoops attack the goal to our right. Really an important game with both sides looking for a place in Europe next season, finishing high enough in the first division. And West Ham wearing black armbands this afternoon, the death this week of the president of the club, Mr Reg Pratt, who was also, of course, the former chairman of the club. Playing well forward, but Wicks saw it, but Swindlehurst collected, and Potty do the same. He's got support from Neil Law and also from Steve Walford. Played in early, and a good header by Pike, but the flag again was up. And it'll be a free kick to Queen's Park Rangers. Played in very fluently there by West Ham. And the early ball in by Walford, and Pike by now offside. This week it's a little bit greasy on top. And West Ham players stumbling at precisely the wrong moment for them. Stewart. Martin. Brooking. Stop him soon. Oh, just wide. What a great run by Brooking. He took on just about the whole range of side there. What a lovely run. Looked as though his players were trying to get in the way at one point. Wide of Hucker and sadly for West Ham, just wide of the goal. Applause everywhere for Trevor Brooking. Brooking saying, well, let me have a go and finds Pike. again, really in the mood oh and that's a delightful ball if Wolford forget there, left foot and a good one and Pike and scores 1-0 inevitably Brooking is in the middle of it somewhere and it was his delightful ball here it comes, played out to Steve Wolford, it fell nicely onto his left foot so that he was able to curl it in it was a little bit of a stumble in the end by Jeff Pike as he connected there, but it's gone past Hucker and West Ham go into the lead. Pike's third goal of the season. Fennick forward. Bonds with a header. Free kick against Park Rangers. Queen's Park Rangers any profit from that free kick.
Kelsey again. And now Pike is brooking. And they'll get that one away. Just as well a goal wasn't scored at that end because at the moment the press photographers at that end of the field are having a slight altercation, it seems, with the police who want to move them on. And that has happened before, I think, at West Ham this season when press photographers walked out in protest feeling they couldn't do their job properly. And further to the story of the press photographers, just to keep the record absolutely straight, uh, our own cameraman behind the other goal was asked to take his camera off a tripod and uh, that of course we've decided we would do. <laughs> 20 minutes of the first half left, West Ham leading by a goal to nil. Rangers free kick. Floated all the way in there and just over the top. Stainrod showing a quick wit and very much an awareness that Parks was off his line. Now watch that goalkeeper backpedal. And how little there was to spare. Rocking again. Challenged very strongly but fairly then by Fennick. Rangers so aware and why shouldn't they be of the chaos that Brooking can cause with those runs from midfield. And here he is again, number 10. A little pass this time to an offside Tony Cotty. It won't count. And Brooking is down and clutching his left knee. Well, let's see how the Brooking injury happens. There was the challenge there. A little clumsy, that one, after the ball had gone. On to Cotty, who was offside. their lead at the moment West Ham playing some really exciting stuff coming forward Brooking onto that left foot again Cotty just wide again Brooking it seems inevitable in the middle of it all and Cotty stretching and couldn't quite direct it where he wanted Allen's going back Fillery almost lazily finding Gary Waddock. Nothing lazy about the challenge by Neil Orr. All oh, the good sense in that nice little pass. And there's three, there are four West Ham players up and only two back from Rangers now. Looking just holding it up a fraction. Oh, and Cotty, and a great save. Again, you don't have to look to see who started it all. Trevor Brooking with a lovely little cross in. Got his touch, Hucker's save. Well, Peter Hucker enjoys the East End air. In fact, he lives no more than a goal kick from the West Ham ground here. The Rangers goalkeeper. And this time, Fillery, time to look around in his own penalty area. Fine, five Allen. Look the more business like side of West Ham. And a lot more invention coming from their midfield at the moment. Free kick for West Ham. Walford to Bonds. Brooking. Bonds well, gets it in from Walford, and Stainrod got there first, claimed the corner, but the referee says go. It's 
Swindlehurst up. Potty to Brooking. Oh, getting a few forward, West Ham. And Swindlehurst in there this time, but it was Finnick who got it away. But here's Brooking once more. What a game he's having. Pike. Wolford. Or in for Pike again. There's Brooking so far forward in this game. Oh, and almost getting it in by the near post. And it was the feet of Hucker that kept it out. Well, Trevor insisting that this is his last season. In this form, he really is going out in top form. Martin's header. Bollock. Now Bonds. Looking again to reach Brooking. Bonds coming out again. But Waddock. And in the end, Swindlehurst finding out. Looking around to see who's about him. Stewart's making a good break down the right. Paul Allen going on his own at the moment, though. And a good save by Hucker. Crowd applauding both this really aggressive piece of running by Paul Allen and the keeping of Hucker. as well that's the ball for Cotty inch perfect a brilliant goal no wonder they applaud a lovely piece of finishing by Cotty yes Trevor Brooking has made another goal look at that for a pass talk about inch perfect with some good finishing by young Cotty for all that 2-0 to West Ham Trevor Brooking having a better or more influential first half than he's had here. He might have had two goals himself. He certainly made the two goals that West Ham scored. The first one coming from Jeff Pike after 16 minutes and then the second from Tony Cotty almost on half-time. Full of good football and a half-time score, which is West Ham 2, Queen's Park Rangers 0. to the good, attacking the goal to our right. They could well have quite a say in the championship yet. They have to play five of the top teams yet, starting away to Liverpool next Saturday. Pike's header. Ooh, straight to Brookie. That's a mistake. And now for Cotty. Holding off just a moment. Stewart. Notice Swindlehurst on the far side making his run in. Oh, and a mighty clash there between Hucker and Swindlehurst. It certainly has done Swindlehurst no good at all. That could have been really painful. And the physiotherapists are on at the double. That really was a spectacular mid-air clash. 
when the ball was played in there. Hucker, I think, has probably come off the better of the two. Swindlehurst charging his eye only on the ball. And that really looked painful. Well, that's the happy conclusion that both Hucker and Swindlehurst are OK to go on. Stewart, Dawes, Stainlot, being challenged by Billy Bonds. And Billy Bonds is really charged up for this one. And the referee telling both of them to calm down a little. Dawes, Fillery. sorts of things there, it was like the Eaton Wall game there for a moment, there were so many bodies and nobody quite knew where the ball was we do now, it's a throw for Rangers Stainrod to hurl a long one into the West Ham area again good jump by Michael White Paul tries to stop him and in the end it's Ray Stewart who gets in plays the ball to Swindlehurst not it down nicely for Brooking now can he find something he gets the ball through for Swindlehurst and it's behind for the goal kick may just have hit the post in point of fact Brooking playing the ball through getting a slight deflection off a Rangers defender Goes past the keeper to Swindlehurst. And it's a goal kick. Fennick. Phil Parks is raw. to play there by Trevor Brooking and Swindlehurst cross there's a corner off Fennick I tend to think of Brooking as being delicate sways and delicate little touches as well but he is a mighty difficult fellow to shake off the ball and he goes to take that corner now and all around that end of the ground people are putting their hands together applauding this Really great servant of West Ham who's having a fine day today. So Brooking with the corner. Deep one again. Hucker pulling it away. Pike readjusting well. Keeper was away off his goal, some seven or eight yards out, and had been injured as he tried to pull that one away. Hucker is down. Pike playing it back. Oh, just grazing the top. Oh, good. Better indeed by the number seven, Gary Micklewhite. Too much to spare there for West Ham. Hit in low, a diving header. And again, he's gone past Hucker. 
showed great presence of mind. Uh, Tian Cotti as he gets round Hucker and then hits it straight at the big centre half. Out of play. It's a Rangers throw. And they're going to make a substitute. They're taking off Wayne Faraday and bringing on another winger, former Nottingham Forest winger Steve Burke. So Faraday goes off. And Steve Burke comes on. Touch for Stainrod. Federer shaking off Cotty. By Allen. Oh, lovely play by Allen. Brilliant skills. And a goal that puts Rangers back in the hunt. That was quite remarkable and well worth looking at again. Completely mesmerising those West Ham defenders. The way it was clear, and it's a lovely ball into the corner past Will Cox by Clyburn. I remember a goal at Cambridge, I think it was last season that he scored, it was very similar to that with a swift turn and a lovely couple of drag backs. And now Rangers are right back in it. And West Ham, having appeared to be coasting, might well have a fight. Wolford holding it up for a moment. Good interception by Neil Orr. Then Potty loses it. It's with Michael White for Rangers. Wolford holds him up for a moment, but it's a corner for Rangers. Which Pike is disputing, but I think in vain. Stephen Burke will take it. And the big men have come up from the back. Only Neil and Dawes, I think it is, have stayed behind. Burke with the corner. And it's into the back of the net. And I think Clive Allen will claim that one as well. And it's 2-2. for West Ham, 
The second half certainly belonged to Clive Allen with his two goals that made it a fine comeback for the visitors and a final score of West Ham 2, Queen's Park Rangers 2. So